Any funny stories? So, does anyone in chat have a crazy friend? If you don't, you're probably the crazy friend. But do you have like a literal insane friend who's like literally insane? We have that friend. He's called Crazy Marty. Marty's very good when sober. He's very good when sober. And then when he's drunk, he's literally insane. You know, like the one that's definitely going to end up in jail. Like that, that friend. That's Marty. So we had drink tokens at our wedding. Marty just started going around collecting drink tokens. He just started taking everyone's drink tokens. He took like 25 free drink tokens. Some people would ask to keep the drink tokens because they looked really nice, like memorabilia. So they would stamp them. He started scraping off the stamp to be able to use them again. Uh, so I think he got like 30, 35 drinks, something like that. And then he punched his cousin in the face for no reason. Uh, his cousin normally would have just beat the shit out of him. But That's since it was at my wedding, he, uh, he didn't. Oh, he even took a drink token out of my hand. He was like, what are you getting? And I was like, a bramble. He's like, oh, I'll get you one. I never got that drink. And then I tell my best man, I was like, can you sort Marty out? And he's like, yeah, I'll sort Marty out. Just dragged him into a car. Like he was literally sitting there passing out. Like he almost fell to the floor, but somebody grabbed him. Sounds like a good friend. Yeah, he's terrible when drunk. He gets into bar fights and shit a lot. This was the suite we had for our wedding. I hated it. Helena loved it. It was basically, honestly, I like felt like I was in the movie Django. I was like, this is so like, I just don't like this style. The bed was comfortable, but I was like, I don't know, dude. I, I, I hate the style. I, I like modern and clean. I didn't, I didn't like the style. But these are my groomsmen. Um, it was really funny because Rose and Sabrina were my groomsmen. However, at the wedding, especially with Sabrina, so many people just thought she was working the event. So people kept asking her things like, oh, sorry, could I get? And like, oh, do you know where? So we all just started doing that as a joke to her. It's the hairstyle. Yeah. Rose looks more like she's just going to murder somebody with an axe. She looks like proper, like, like a, like shield maiden. Yeah. Steel looks a little bit too happy with this axe. And then they, they didn't get the memo because they were all like, oh, let's attack him. And they didn't, they didn't hear that. Uh, which is funny. And then this was the wedding car. We initially wanted to get married in something like that. The Jurassic Park Jeep. Like we wanted to be driven to the castle in this. And they normally had one available, but somebody else was renting it at the same time. So we were going to have like the Jurassic Park theme song playing. And then as we, get, as we got out of the car, I'd be like, they do move in herds. Um, cause we thought that sounded fun, but yeah, so we just had some like random beetle instead. It was smelly and didn't have seatbelts. So I felt very uncomfortable. I mean, it's important to have a fun wedding. We didn't take anything too seriously. Spared no expense. Actually, we spared as much expense as we can. We were both like a wedding's kind of a waste. Like it's one day. So like we, we like didn't like, we thought it was crazy. Like people that spend like 30 a 50, a 100K on their wedding. I've had friends that spend over 100K on their wedding, and I'm like, bruh, that's a bruh moment. We tried to save money where we could. Like, the most expensive thing was the food for 80 people, obviously. Like, this was great. This was perfect. All I care about at my wedding is that the people I care about is there and that the person I love is there. That That is all I care about. Everything else just seemed like a waste. Yeah. So, like, the most expensive thing was the food. I think the food... And like, honestly, we got married in a fucking castle. It was so cheap. Like we looked at it as a joke almost because we thought it was going to be so expensive. But the venue was only 800 pounds. And then the food was like five or 6K. What food did you have there? Uh, some meat. I didn't really eat that much because I have so many stomach problems. So these are the rings. So mine is inscribed, inscribed Helena Kipervik and hers is Heter Kipervik. And oh yeah, we were drinking out of goat horns and... Uh, mine has Thor's hammer, and then it says Kiprovik, and hers has the, uh, the Norse symbol for, uh, I think it's the Norse symbol for eternal life, but at least it's the, the past, future, and the present is what this signifies. The web of weird. That's it. How do you set it down? We had, like, a pedestal to put it down on. So we were drinking out of those, and they were like, what do you want in your horn? I was like, Coke. I want Coke. So I, 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 yeah. The true Zizzer tradition, I filled it with Coke.
So these are pretty low quality at the moment. These are like teaser photos that they've just sent us instantly. Helena really popped off. Yeah, she cleans up all right. So that's my brother. That's his girlfriend. Uh, that's my dad. And that's my mom. And that's us. She had blue hair, but you didn't. Well, we decided we couldn't both have blue hair. And then this is my ax that she's wearing for photos. So the photographers loved the axes. They wanted to put them in so many shoots. And like the photographer was like, hey, everyone, go grab your axes. And I was like, is that the first time you've ever said that at a photo shoot? And they're like, yeah, that's awesome. And then this is the first kiss after getting married. That's like Helena's family on the left. Mine on the right. First kiss ever. Yeah. This is a very nice castle. There, we also use drones at the wedding. So we have a lot of drone footage that should be really, really cool as well. That's the bridesmaids. It was funny because they all flew in from Denmark. This is all like Helena's best friends from Denmark. But they couldn't get an axe because there's no way you'd be able to carry that on the plane, right? It is a literal weapon. Um, so they looked pretty jealous. We had so much fun with the shoots as well. They were like, charge, charge at us like you're going to war. And I was like, everybody scream. And on the first take, everyone didn't scream except me. And I was like, fucking scream or I'll kill you. Uh, and people kept asking, like, what are the axes for? And I was like, so when, when the person marrying us says, does anyone object to this wedding? If anyone says yes, if anyone objects, we can kill the first six that object. I, I'll kill the seventh. It's a toy axe, honest. No, it's razor sharp. I think this might be my favorite photo of my groomsmen. I think it just looks so cool. They wanted, it was a little bit too bright, but they had like a big flash. And what they actually wanted was to do this when it was darker. Um, because if it was darker, you would only have been able to see me and everybody else would have been a silhouette with an axe. Was your son there too? Yep. My dad's holding my son. Look how fucking tall Sai is, by the way. It's so funny because like everyone at the back is tall. Like you know how fucking tall Karn is. Sai just fucking dwarfs Karn. So this is uh, Helena's grandparents' wedding rings. They're from uh, 1955. It was really funny because she kept going around telling everybody how old they were. And obviously some of my relatives were born in 1955. So they're like, that's not that old. Calm down. Uh, and then this is our wedding rings. And then this was her engagement ring. And then this was the something borrowed from her friend Pernille. But it's such a cool photo. And then this was the, the girl that like wed us. She struggled with the names. It was really funny. So during practice, we did like a, a prep run where she said our names. She was like, Shetil uh, and stuff like that. And she got everything really well. And then for Helena's name, like Rabiarg, in the practice, she was like Rabiarg. But then during the actual ceremony, she was like Shumbalula or something. And we were like, whoa, you really went with it. What the fuck happened there? Like, what? It was like, it was, like, it was so funny because during practice, it was like, boom. And then it was like literally like Shumbalula. Or something. And we were like, what the? That was like, I don't even know what that was. Yeah, it was funny. And then, oh, this is a really cool photo as well. And then this was in Helena's hair. That was her uh, grandparents' wedding rings. This is us doing the bridal waltz. By the way, this is not planned. We weren't going to dance. And then Helena's like, do you want to dance anyway? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, the bridal waltz. I was like, what the fuck is a waltz? And she was like, I mean, it can't be that hard. And I was like, what? Okay. Will you lead? And she was like, sure. So we did this. We literally just walked in a square. That was it. We literally just walked in a square. Um, while everybody started like closing it around us until we can't move. And then we're just surrounded by friends and family. It was really nice. Um, and then there was some really weird Danish traditions, some of which I despised. Um, 
So they all the groomsmen run up, they grab me, they lift me into the air, and my best man cuts off the tip of my sock, which is supposed to symbolize that he's ruining me for other women because no other women will want me anymore. Uh, yeah, my toe's okay. Um, well, no other women will want me anymore. And the bride is supposed to mend my socks. So she's actually going to do that. We kept these socks and Helene is going to sew them together. No, they wanted to do with the axe and I was like, fuck no. And then, fuck it, you know what? I share a lot with you guys. So my fly was open and everyone was just like, hey, your fly is open. So it's very funny. So this is me laughing while fixing my fly. That's a good photo. Any other Danish traditions? Oh my God, yes, there was. Okay, so one we didn't do because of COVID. Um, and we didn't, and, and like quite a few people were a little sick, so we didn't want to do it. But it was supposed to be every time I went to the bathroom, every guy was supposed to run up and kiss Helena. And every time she went to the bathroom, every girl was supposed to run up and kiss me. We didn't do that one just because of disease. If you started, yeah, literally COVID central. So we were like, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, it was really funny because Sabrina didn't get the memo. Um, so the first time Helena went to the bathroom, Sabrina sprints up, kisses me on the cheek, and she's just super fucking confused, right? And she's like, where's all the hoes at? And then I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that one because of COVID. And she's like, great, I'm a home wrecker. So we walk down the aisle to the Stargate SD1 theme. Oh, okay. You ready? I am going to take a little bit of a risk and hope that I don't get sued and hope that it's modified enough. But yeah, so we walked down the aisle to that. Uh, it was really nice because we like we talked about it initially, like just walking to the Stargate SG1 theme. But the Stargate SG1 theme is way too fast. It's too like up. Uh, so Helena's choir master, she used to sing in a choir, uh, remade this. And then during the speeches, uh, Helena had prepared one of her friends sang like our favorite song to us. It was. Uh, the Olsen brothers fly on the wings of love. So they were, she was like singing that. It was really nice. 